Hey, good morning. It's uh, Saturday, it's late Saturday morning, but it's still Saturday morning, May 16th. I want to read to you a brief portion of Matthew's Gospel, and it's about faith. So the incident that I'm reading about is secondary to the issue of faith, but you'll recall this is when Jesus calms the storm. And the disciples got into a boat, and then he got into the boat, and his disciples followed him. Without warning, a furious storm came up, on the lake so that the waves swept over the boat. But Jesus was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him saying, Lord, save us, we're going to drown. He replied, you have little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves and it was completely calm. The men were amazed and said, what kind of man is this? Even the waves and the winds obey him. The phrase I want to focus on is you of little faith. See, the disciples had themselves in a situation where they thought that they were in deep trouble. There was a storm. If you've had the privilege of boating, uh, you also know that there are certain risks with boating. If you're out on the open water, even a small lake, as in the case of Galilee, still several miles across, some large storms can impact you. And when the waves are washing over the deck, it gets, you know, from human terms, pretty scary. What they were not comprehending was, is that Jesus was with the boat, with them in the boat. And in the middle of their peril, in their panic, what was Jesus doing? In their minds, Jesus was failing them. Why? Because he was asleep. I think that we often treat God that way when we have problems. We get panicked. We get upset like they are. And we say, don't you care, Lord? What are you doing there sleeping? And if we're not seeing some dynamic, uh, in our minds, powerful manifestation of God's care for us 24-7, we start getting nervous. We wonder about what's going on with God. So Jesus responds to them, and that's what I want to focus on this brief thought this morning. He says, you have little faith. See, faith, Hebrews tells us, and the rest of the Bible tells us, faith is the evidence of things that I can't see, but it's certain because God has promised it. Despite all that had happened, despite the teaching, despite just hearing the Sermon on the Mount and seeing miracles, they couldn't comprehend that the Lord of the universe was there with them. So when something came up that was appropriately, yeah, it was scary. If you've been in those kind of situations, whether it's with a storm or on a lake or a storm in real life or a car accident or seeing something happen to you that you're out of control, there are scary moments in life. What Jesus wants us to do is to remember that he is always with us. And even though they saw the physical human Jesus sleeping, the Psalms told them that the God of Israel never sleeps. Your God never sleeps. He's always aware. There is not a second in your life that God is not aware of what's happening. So our faith needs to point us back that I can trust God because he rules things. Even the winds and the waves obey him. All the waves and the winds of our lives, the storms that we have, Jesus is there, and he wants us to have faith that if we honor him and do what he just told them in the Sermon on the Mount, they seek first the kingdom of God, and what God wants from us, everything is going to be fine. It's all going to be cool. It's all going to be something that I can trust, even if it's hard. Let's take this lesson from the apostles and not quake in fear at all the things around us, but be confident that regardless of what happens, your Savior is caring for you. Let's break free of the shackles of little faith and embrace the beauty of the faith that is ours because of Christ. And that's the thought for this morning. We'll see you back tonight. You have a great day. Bye-bye.